Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather around the table of the Lord on this fifth day of the octave of Christmas. We beg for the grace that we may truly understand the meaning of this season, not only, not only looking at the deckers, but also looking at God's will for us. And so let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of, of goodwill. goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we, we give, give you thanks for, for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of, God, Son of the, the Father, Father you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and invisible God, who dispersed the darkness of this world by the coming of your light, look, we pray, with serene countenance upon us, 
that we may acclaim with fitting praise the greatness of the nativity of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, the way we may be sure that we know Jesus is to keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. This is the way we may know that we are in union with Him. Whoever claims to abide in Him ought to walk just as He walked. Beloved, I am writing no new commandment to you, but an old commandment that you had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. And yet, I do write a new commandment to you, which holds true in him and among you. For the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. Whoever says he is in the light, yet hates his brother, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light and there is nothing in him to cause a fall. Whoever hates his brother is in darkness. He walks in darkness and does not know where he is going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty go before him. Praise and grandeur are in his sanctuary. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Please stand. Of revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people, Israel. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord when the days were completed for their purification according to the law of moses the parents of jesus took him up to jerusalem to present him to the lord just as it is written in the law of the lord Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. 
This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed by what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. How do we get to know a person? Paano ho ba natin kinikilala ang isang tao? Usually, we start with the basics. We ask for the name. If the person is working or studying, we start with the basic information. And when time comes, we want to know a person in a deeper way, in a deeper meaning. We just don't get to know what he or she likes. But we also try to discover what would make them happy or sad. Kapag gusto natin na makilala ng mas malalim ang isang tao, hindi lang ho natin tinitingnan yung pagkakakilanlan ng isang tao, kundi inaalam natin yung buo niyang pagkatao. Kaya kapag kaibigan natin at sinabi natin kilala natin yung taong iyan, malamang, malamang sa malamang ay hindi lang natin alam kung ano yung mga basic dun sa taong iyon, kundi kilala natin, alam natin kung anong ugali niya. Every year, we celebrate Christmas and somehow we are already familiar with the Christmas story. We know the Christmas story. But do we really know the meaning of the Christmas story? Baka alam na alam na natin kung papaano ipinanganak si Jesus. Alam na alam na natin yung kwento. Pero alam ba natin kung bakit siya pinanganak? We already know the facts. But have we tried to discover the meaning behind those facts? And this is what our readings would invite us to do today. How well do we know the Christmas story? How well do we know the meaning of the Christmas story? We say that this is the most wonderful time of the year. Masaya yung pakiramdam, magaganda yung mga ilaw, maraming mga Christmas decors. The mood is very uplifting and encouraging. And most of the time, the mood helps us to become more positive. Kaya di ba minsan sinasabi natin, Pasko naman eh, piliin natin maging masaya. Pasko naman eh, pagbigyan naman natin yung sarili natin. Pasko naman eh, makipag-ayos ka naman dun sa mga nakaaway mo. But that mood is merely superficial. Paano kapag tapos na ang Pasko? Where will we find a reason to be happy? Where will we find a reason to reconcile with others? Where will we find a reason to be in a positive disposition? If we will just ride on the good vibes of the season, chances are, our happiness would also be superficial. Our reconciliation with others would also be superficial. Everything that we will do will just be superficial. Why? Because we are only doing things because of the season, but not because of the reason of the season. Baka kapag tinanggal na rin yung mga palamuti, kapag hindi na natin feel yung Pasko, 
baka mawala rin, baka mawala na rin tayo ng dahilan para maging masaya. Mawala na rin tayo ng dahilan para makipagkasundo. Kaya, di ba, sa kapisa kanta, di ba sana ang araw-araw ay magiging Pasko lagi. But that should not be the case. The joyful mood may not last forever. We may soon aside the decors and the lights. But if you have discovered the meaning of Christmas, then every day will be a reason to be joyful. Every day will be a reason to reconcile. Every day will be a reason to be a blessing. And maybe that is the beauty why the Christmas season is towards the end of towards the end and the beginning of the year. Para bang pinapaalalahanan din tayo na kahit may mga pagsubok sa nagdaang taon, may dahilan pa rin tayo para magpatuloy. When Simeon recognized the child Jesus, he may have prayed that his eyes may finally close. But he also saw the beauty that lies ahead. Hopefully, like Simeon, that will also be our disposition. That with the child Jesus, we would see the brightness that the light of Christ will bring. We would see the beauty that Jesus would bring along. Please stand. Simeon's sight of the child Jesus was a fulfilled promise. Let us bring our hopes and prayers to the Father who is ever faithful to his promises. For every intention we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the family of the church may be an example and a guide to the nations of the world in their search for harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may show greater appreciation to our family members whose love we take for granted. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That families who are separated may be reconciled with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may receive the warmth of love and support from family members. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That eternal rest and perpetual light may be granted to those who have departed from this world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, remembering all the people are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. Heavenly Father, clothe us in kindness and patience. As we grow in age, may we increase in maturity and become more like your Son. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Word made flesh. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, our life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Holy Mother of our Savior, the Spirit dwells in you. Oh, how great is your beauty and the grace bestowed on you. Holy Mother of our Savior, blessed are you. From among all women, God has chosen you.